Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi Libra, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Libra. And this is your February readings. So let's go. If you guys want to purchase your extended, click on the link below or go straight to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com, and it will be in your February extended readings. Libra. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type in expectation and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Ooh. So, my soul calls out to your soul. It's like, it's like these two people are in the ethers, right? These two people are like, it's their souls, their 5Ds that are connected. And this, this keep an open mind, it, it doesn't have to necessarily be, it's not your type, but it may just not happen the way you think. It might not be the time period, it might not be the way or the, or, or the person. It's, it's, it's a reconciliation, a reunion of old souls. Ten of Swords. First, something here has to end. Some kind of really bad ending. Someone's hopes got up really high and then it got crushed. And then they had to walk away from something. Eight of Cups, they had to leave. They either had to leave a relationship that they thought was, was, was something or... Or it's like the old life. You know, we talk about that all the time. Your new life is going to cost you your old. So it's either that is, it's, it doesn't matter what it is, is the point. Something ends and then something new begins. Kang dang lang bitch. The king of wands. Aries Leo Sag. But he could be any sign that is just someone who is aggressive. And someone who is not afraid to make moves. He would be someone who would be fearless. This, if someone makes a move, he, I think he reaches out. See, soul family, six of cups. Queen of swords, definitely another air sign here. Of course, Gemini, Libra. But soul family, definitely for sure. These are, these are past life soulmates. The queen of swords is a tough cookie. Okay, putting it mildly. So the King of Wands understands that if I'm going to approach the Queen of Swords, I got to come correct or I don't come at all. And, and so it almost feels like there is this, or it's to keep an open mind. Maybe he thinks that she's going to say, fuck no. Fuck no. He doesn't know if, she, if she'll accept him. King of Pentacles. This person's got a lot of money. A lot of money. Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. See, somebody got left. They had to leave something. Someone here is really like, someone here, their thing is like, every time they get excited and they get their hopes up, it just never works out. So they like stop getting their hopes up. The fool. Someone here has to take a leap. They have to get out of their fucking head. So for example, if they always say, well, it's no sense I even try because every time I get excited and I try, it doesn't work out, so I'm not gonna do it anyway. It's like somebody's gotta get the fuck out of their head about that. Eight of Wands, a move, making a move. Don't do it, don't do it. And then the Ace of Swords, truth and communication, speaking up. It feels like it's a message. I left my TV on. I've been kind of peeking on both of the games today. <sighs> yeah, my team, the Packers, didn't win. But my dad's Rams did. They made it. So we'll see if the Rams beat the 49ers, honey. Uh, here we go. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, and the runner. Fear of intimacy. Yeah, see, somebody here is very <sighs> accustomed to fuckery, getting their hopes up, it not working out. Fear of intimacy as well here feels like
They're afraid of falling in love. Look, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date? I'm sorry, but I'm just like stunned. Like, whoa. The woman, the feminine. It's like they don't know how to approach the feminine. She might be intimidating, right? Queen of Swords. She could be very intimidating. The book, she's a mystery to them. Can't figure her out. And that's difficult, right? When they can't figure something out because they just don't know how to approach. They don't know what makes her tick. So it's like this, they could be, they could be hanging back watching, waiting, calculating, the bridge, communication, overcoming barriers, and the house, belonging, family, shelter, roots. You see, you've got to get in here. She don't let nobody in here. She's very protective of her space. That's the point. And so they've got to overcome some kind of barrier. They've got to figure out how to get into her. How do they get in? Because she'll shut them out. She'll say, nope, no thank you. Go fuck yourself. Head of the pack, successful. Getting it done, will, will to win, dominating. The cross, destiny, spirituality, divine guidance, fate. And then here you go. The waterfall, flood of emotions. The waterfall is about just it all coming out, right? Sorry, getting text messages. It all comes out. She, and it also feels like she's holding back or he is, whoever this is. Someone's holding back on their emotions and how they feel. They're not... Revealing their hand. You or them, both of you, the raven. Darkness looms on the horizon. Kaka! It's almost like it's just, remember I told you that someone just always expects the worst. It's a very Debbie Downer, negative Nancy vibe because they just feel like it never works out. I always get my fucking hopes up on this thing and it never works out. That's what this person keeps feeling. They keep going, well, I don't understand why I should go and do this or do that or get my hopes up and offer and do this because it never, it's not going to happen. That's the sun on the bottom of the deck. Your perseverance is rewarded divine masculine now could it be the divine masculine that thinks well it's just always going to fucking end anyway and yeah obviously of course it could be but whoever it is someone feels that way and it's almost preventing sorry my back is so sore today um it's preventing this connection do you know what i mean it's like it's preventing it Leo energy, Pisces, and Taurus. So for those of you that always want to know the zodiac signs, could be one of these. Right? Or it could be a fellow Libra. It doesn't even have to be any of these signs e either. Could be the energy of Taurus, right? Which is the Hierophant energy, the Leo energy, which is strength in the, in the lion. And then Pisces is, you know, the fish. But Pisces is about that um, duality of the masculine and the feminine and neptunian energy there as well for the for the pisces energy i almost feel like we're stalling or what it's like we're waiting for something well again if you want to purchase this extended click on the link below or go straight to my website saltwaterhillstarot.com it's going to be in your february extended readings also, I'm on Patreon if you guys want to go and follow me on Patreon. The link is also below. I do the erotic tarot readings there. And also, if tickets are finally on sale on my website to my next Witches Brew, which is a Zoom group session with people that purchase tickets. And it's going to be for the Gateway 22222. So tickets are on sale on my website. Yeah, it's going to be a big one, right? 22222. What is this? Gaia. 
earth connection, be mindful of the planet, come back to earth, stay grounded. It's like someone's too grounded. Someone's going, mm, I'm not going to dream. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I'm not going to get excited about this shit. I'm just going to meh. All right, let's get into your extended. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And again, Patreon, click on the link below. Tickets to my Witch's Brew, click on the link below, okay? I will see you guys in your extended. Love you.